Hello everyone. Today I upgraded my PC from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I've been upgrading since Windows XP, so I can say I know how to upgrade Windows. But this upgrading was most difficult and frustrating Windows upgrade ever. I had many problems, so I decided to make this video. Hopefully, this video will help you upgrade easier. This video is for someone who already has Windows 10 and plan to upgrade to Windows 11. If you are building PC from scratch without Windows install on your new empty hard drive, you might not have any problem. Enough talking. Let's upgrade to Windows 11. First, you need to check your PC running Windows 10 can upgrade to Windows 11. You need to download PC Health Check app from Microsoft. Then press Check Now here. My PC doesn't meet many Windows 11 system requirements. Especially Intel CPU I have right now is too old. That one I don't have any choice but to get a new CPU. So I decide to build new PC. This is the new PC I'm going to build. If you are interested, I have a video showing how to build this PC. Please check it out. My first problem, I had to change my motherboard to this because Intel 12th generation CPU support DDR5 memory, but there are no inventory anywhere. I waited a little more than two months, then I had enough. So I changed it to this motherboard that it still uses new Intel CPU but uses DDR4 memory. I thought everything will be okay since this motherboard is Windows 11 ready, but I was wrong. After I built the PC, I checked again. Every system requirement is checked except secure boot. TPM2 was unavailable already since this motherboard was Windows 11 ready. But what do I need to do for secure boot? After spending hours searching for web and watching YouTube, I found out I need to change BIOS on motherboard. In Microsoft website, they are saying I need to switch the PC boot mode from legacy BIOS to UEFI BIO. But every motherboard BIO is different. I will show you on Asus G690 motherboard BIOS. This is Asus G690 motherboard BIO. My BIO version is 2.21. But when I check the YouTube video, the older version is a little different. And even though it's the same BIO, the detail was a little different, so keep in mind that. To check for TPM, you need to go to the Advanced and go to Trust Computing here. And here, my TPM device already found and security device support is already enabled. My motherboard was Windows 11 ready, so it was already set up like this. But if it's not, you need to change it to the Enable here. Now for that secure boot, you need to go to the boot here. And secure boot here. In here, on OS type, they give you two choices. Other OS or Windows UEFI. You need window UEFI. And next line, here they give you the two choice, standard or custom. I just pick the standard. While you are still in the boot section, on top choice is the called CSM. On here, launch CSM, you need to keep it disabled. They give you two choice. Disable, enable, you keep disable. This setup will give you a check on secure boot. But I encounter another problem. After changing bio, you go to the exit here and go here, save change and reset. But my PC wasn't booting. It just keep coming back to this bio screen. Now, watch the problem. Only way I can boot from my new build, 
I need to change bio. While you are in boot section, secure boot here. And the OS type, you have to change it to other OS. And go back. And on the CSM, you have to enable and keep it same as here. The top is UEFI legacy and legacy only, legacy only, legacy only. But this is not what Windows 11 want. They want all the way. Now what? After another hours looking for answer, I found out your hard drive partition style have to be GPT. But if you are upgrading Windows from your old hard drive like me, there are high chance your hard drive partition style is MBR. How to check whether your hard drive is MBR or GPT? I'll show you now. I already upgraded Windows 11, but it will be same on Windows 10. Right click stop button and click disk management. Right click disk you want to check. Choose properties and choose volumes. This disk partition style is MBR. That's why it wasn't booting. To boot from UEFI BIO, your hard drive partition style have to be GPT. Let me show you how to change MBR to GPT. I already changed to the Windows 11, but it should be the same as Windows 10. Click search box here. And type CMD in search. And you'll see the command prompt. And click Learn as Administrator. Click Yes. CMD type MBR2 GPT slash validate slash disk number. This disk number should be your C drive. Mine is zero, that's why I put the zero, but if you have a different number, you need to put different number in here. Slash allow full OS, then enter. Validation complete successfully. Then type MBR2 GPT slash convert slash disk number slash allow full OS then enter it might take some time but when it's done you successfully convert your hard drive partition style from MBR to GPT now open disk management again and let's check the my new hard drive the volume and partition style is GPT now. You need to go back to the bio and change launch CSM to disable and change OS type to window UEFI. After changing bio, you go to the exit here and go here save change and reset. I boot into window 10 and run PC Health Check app again. Finally, my PC meet all the Windows 11 system requirement. I opened the window update, but I don't see any Windows 11 upgrade. If you see this Windows 11 upgrade screen, just click download and install and you will be done. But not for me, it's not happening that easily. I could wait until Windows 11 is available on Windows update. It could be maybe tomorrow, or maybe next week, or next month. But I didn't went to all this trouble just to wait longer. So I decided to install Windows 11 manually. You need this address for the Windows 11 manual download. In this page, they give you three choices. But I'm gonna use the top choice, Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Click Download Now. Click Yes. Click Accept and Install. It will take more than one hour, so give us some time to finish.
Yes, I finally got the window 11. This whole process was the most difficult and frustrating window upgrade ever. If you are having trouble upgrading from window 10 to window 11, I hope this video help you solving problems. Thank you for watching and enjoy your window 11.